I was never raised in a way that I would be running for public office. It didn't interest me. When I graduated from college, I got married, had five children in six years. So that was my life. When the children were grown, the opportunity to run for Congress came along. She ran because another woman said, run. And she won, starting on a path that would make history the first woman speaker of the house. For our daughters and our granddaughters, today we have broken the marble ceiling. In her, so many saw themselves. I did feel a real responsibility to other women as I stood on the shoulders of those who went before. Now, it was her turn to say, run. And run they did, winning and making her speaker once again. We didn't have a speaker who would bring a gun bill to the floor. We didn't have a speaker who would bring a dreamer's issue to the floor. We do now. And that's good for every American. But not everyone was on board. Nancy Pelosi. 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 I'm a mother of five, grandmother of nine. I know a temper tantrum when I see one. The power of the speaker is awesome. Awesome. If you want to go into the arena, you have to be prepared to take a punch. But you also have to be prepared to throw a punch for the children. <laughs> throw a punch for the children. children. From running the House to Speaker of the House and taking on the White House, unapologetic, unafraid. Madam Speaker. Congratulations, Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. And now, please welcome Speaker of the United States House of, House of Representatives, it's my honor Nancy to bring you Pelosi. The greetings of House Democrats, the most diverse majority in history, more than 60% women, people of color, and LGBTQ. Our diversity is our strength, our unity is our power. This month, as America marks the centennial of women finally women winning the right to vote, we do so with 105 women in the House, proudly. 90 are Democrats. To win the vote, women marched and fought and never gave in. We stand on their shoulders, charged with carrying forward the unfinished work of our nation advanced by heroes from Seneca Falls to Selma to Stonewall. Four years ago, when President Obama and Vice President Biden were in the White House, they made us proud and their leadership made our country great. In that spirit, we come together now not to decry the darkness, but to light a way forward for our country. That is the guiding purpose of House Democrats, fighting for the people. We have sent the Senate bills for lower health care costs, for bigger paychecks, for cleaner government, protecting John Lewis's voting rights, and enacting George Floyd Justice and Policing Act. We have sent the Senate bills to protect our dreamers, LGBTQ equality, to prevent gun violence, and to preserve our planet for future generations, and even more. All of this is possible for America. Who was standing in the way? Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump. Our nation faces the worst health and economic catastrophe in our history. More than 5 million Americans are infected by the coronavirus. Over 170,000 have died. The science-based action in the HEROES Act we enacted three months ago is essential to safeguard lives, livelihood, and the life of our democracy. And who is standing in the way? Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump. Instead of crushing the virus, they're trying to crush the Affordable Care Act and its pre-existing -condi pre conditions benefit. As Speaker of the House, I've, been, I've seen firsthand Donald Trump's disrespect for facts, for working families, and for women in particular. Disrespect written into his policies toward our health and our rights, not just his conduct. But we know what he doesn't, that when women succeed, America succeeds. 
And so we are unleashing the power of women to take our rightful place in our national life by championing a woman's right to choose and defending Roe v. Wade, securing safe and affordable child care, preserving Social Security and passing equal pay for equal work. Who's standing in the way? Mitch McConnell and Donald Trump. So here is our answer. We will remember in November when we will elect Joe Biden president, whose heart is full of love for America and rid the country of Trump's heartless disregard for America's goodness. Joe Biden's faith in God gives him the courage to lead. Joe Biden's love gives him the strength to persevere. Joe Biden is the president we need right now, battle-tested, forward-looking, honest and authentic. He has never forgotten who he is fighting for. And Kamala Harris is the vice president we need right now, committed to our Constitution, brilliant in defending it, and a witness to the women of this nation that our voices will be heard. Our mission is to fight for a future equal to the ideals of our founders, our hopes for our children, and the sacrifices of our veterans, our brave men and women in uniform, and their families. We will increase our majority in the House. We will win a Democratic majority in the Senate. We will elect Kamala Harris vice president. And we will elect Joe Biden president of the United States of America. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank you.